If he's tiny and wears green, loves gold and tends to be mean, we here at Now You Know have discovered the fiend. Hi, I'm Emily Paulding, and with St. Patrick's Day coming up, talk about leprechauns is bound to start sweeping the campus. From movie characters to mascots, ranging anywhere from heroes to villains, leprechauns have seriously made their way into the pop culture scene. Today on Now You Know, we're going to take a look at the best of leprechauns. First leprechaun on our list is good old-fashioned, straight from Ireland, stereotypical leprechaun. He's a tiny little man, never taller than just a few feet. You can typically find him sporting anywhere from a bright to deep green sport coat and a ginger red hairdo. While this little lad may seem like a cute character, watch your back because he tends to be quite deceiving. He's a mischievous little man and will steal your gold if you look away for just the slightest of seconds. The next leprechaun on our list shares the same appearance as our number one, but is a bit more magically delicious, should I say? Any guesses? Well, our number two leprechaun happens to be Lucky the Leprechaun, also known as the mascot for Lucky Charm cereal. This little lad not only stars on the front of each and every box of Lucky Charm cereal, but also gets a leading role in every one of its cereal's commercials. Talk about a lucky guy. The great thing about Lucky is that if you happen to run into his the, in the St. Patrick's Day during all the festivities, no need to fret. This guy is not going to take any gold from you. In fact, Lucky does nothing but wonders for us all. He has the ability to take ordinary marshmallows and turn them into mystical shapes. Now that's scale. Next, we arrive at my personal favorite leprechaun. Number three happens to be the star of a Disney Channel original movie. Kyle Johnson is a leading leprechaun in the movie, The Luck of the Irish. Kyle's a normal boy, living for the most part an average high school life, when all of a sudden his lucky gold coin gets sniped. Him and his family then start transforming into leprechauns right before your very eyes. Apparently, his family has a secret history of leprechaunism, and the only way to save himself is to retrieve his lucky coin from the mischievous leprechaun who stole it. Much like Lucky, Kyle's a good leprechaun. However, after this incident, he doesn't seem to be so lucky now, does he? While we all enjoy a nice leprechaun, who doesn't love a villain? Next on our list is also a movie star, coming straight out of the 1993 horror film The Leprechaun. This little guy has come from Ireland to retrieve the gold a man has stolen from him. After being stuck in the basement for 10 years, the leprechaun is accidentally released and out to get what is his. He stops at nothing, almost killing the lovely Jennifer Aniston in his path. But don't worry, folks. If you find yourself in the same sticky situation, just know. There's a way to escape the horrors of the leprechaun. All you need to do is place a four-leaf clover on the forehead of a little guy, and poof, he's donezo. So during the festivities this holiday, make sure you have a four-leaf clover handy. To bring our list of leprechauns to a close, we end with the worst of them all. While he's definitely not to be feared, he does, however, stand for something that most of us would cringe at, the mascot of Notre Dame. Where to begin? Notre Dame's mascot is a side view of a leprechaun with his dukes up, ready to battle anyone that comes his way. Too bad that fight has never won. Apparently, this little guy brings magical powers and good luck to the team. I guess these magical powers just don't work on BC. As sad as it seems, this leprechaun brings our countdown to an end. We've looked at the good ones and the bad, the movie stars and the plain old sad. Now you make the decision. What's your favorite leprechaun?